Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Are you ready for this, D? <laughs> I can't help myself, guys. It's just too easy, bro. Let's get back into the D, son. Alright. So, <laughs> here is a fucking corpse for you. Uh, no, I'm not talking about myself. I found a new room here. <clears throat> Let's get situated. Oh, dude, I had this orange earlier. It was a mandarin. Oh, tasted just like a goddamn grapefruit, bro. Like, I've never had such a disgusting. But you know, those are like the healthiest. They got all those fucking uh, amino acids. So, uh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful How about that like because of grapefruit I'll see myself out <laughs> anyways guys I'm sorry about this this game is so stupidly dark I can barely see it I hope you guys can see it okay but um, all I did was I got the um, I used a key and I unlocked a door so Let's check out this motherfucker here. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Oh my god, bro. It's a SJW. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, it's a vegan. <laughs> he put a vegan in this game. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Well, I thought he was like, oh, that's right, you have to go to this other side <laughs> where his arm is. And he is holding a ring, I believe. I would love to know the story of how his arm got stuck through a wall. And why is there a freaking bed here? Like, what? I don't want to know what kind of kinky stuff, dude, was going on in this room, bro. Ah, fuck, I gotta do this thing now. All right, 78's the number. Here we go. Most annoying part of the game. <laughs> we get to play slots. I mean, how did this happen where I'm like, I'm, pay I'm playing slots in a weird ass like haunted house. It's just not right, dude. The hell were they smoking? Okay, sorry guys, I'm gonna focus. Oh fuck, I got it. Okay, please let's get eight. Oh fuck, that was that was nothing but sheer luck. That was nothing but sheer luck, bro. Oh fuck me rotten. I was just one off. Oh, when it does like wait, seventy seven. So what was that? Six five four three two one, two, we know. Ah, shit. <laughs> I didn't catch what it did. Um, six, okay, so it goes five less, and then... Uh, so I have to get it on... I have to get it on 73. Ha, I think I got it. Ah, oh, cock. I didn't get it. <laughs> okay, I think that was seven. Let's just... Shit. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, guys, we're gonna be here a while. Alright. <laughs> Let's try that again. Damn. 69! Hey! <laughs> That's the magic number, son. That is the magic number, my friend. Okay, so I have to get at 2. Uh, I have to go 72. 
Damn it. Hey, 69 again. All right, guys, 72. Let's get this shit. 72. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, sorry, guys. Bear with me here. You can just fast forward this part. That's the great thing about YouTube, bro. You can just fast forward shit. Alrighty. 72. Here we go. Ah, cock. Why did I do that? <laughs> I got nervous. Okay. Yes, got that bitch. Ooh, I thought I was gonna be here all fucking day, bro. What? <laughs> I miscounted, guys. Sorry about that. 71. I knew I couldn't be that fucking lucky. And I wasn't. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. You ready? You ready, kids? Oh, this will be easy. Okay, so 71. Yes, got it. Pretty sure we got it, baby. He's wearing a ring. <laughs> what a dainty ring for a terribly scary hand. Well, I mean, I know it wasn't a course when he was wearing it, but that's a dainty ring for a man. I don't know, dude. Maybe he was a uh, Transformer. Careful, Jared. <laughs> Let's not go there. Anyways. So hopefully uh, my timer doesn't run out because I'm being timed to this stupid game. So uh, let us see, let us see. And yeah, um, I don't know what to talk about today, man. I made my rant video, so I'm I'm not gonna go into troll territory. But um. <coughs> I've just been working on my manifestation stuff, bro. Trying to manifest money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Practicing that shit. Um, because I really do believe in the power of manifestation. I do see the world as a... Uh, it's a simulation, bro. Like, this world is too stupid to be real, bro. <laughs> That's the main reason why I believe this is all a simulation. It, to me, it's just far too goddamn stupid to actually be real life. I think real life exists through dreams and, like, the afterlife. I, I think that's what, like, quote-unquote real life is. I think what we're in right now is just some weird limbo. Um, sorry to get so, like, <laughs> philosophical during a fucking playthrough of an FMV game, but... That, that's really what I believe at this point in my life at almost 40 years old. That's the conclusion I've come to. I could be way off base, but I don't think that I am. Nobody knows for sure, though, what this fucking world is. You know, what this universe is. Um, I enjoy different theories, you know, different uh, ideas that people have. But... Uh, Oh yes, finger that hole, Laura. <laughs> Ooh, she's really getting into that. But all right, why did I do that? Anyways, let's just focus on the game, guys. <laughs> she won't stop fingering that hole, bro. <laughs> There's a hole in the bucket, dear Lisa, dear Lisa. There's a stupid song I remember in elementary school, bro. <laughs> You remember music class in elementary school? Oh god, what a nightmare that was. Holy shit, bro. I remember just how weird and stupid that was. I hated my music teacher too. She was an absolute cunt rag. Like, she was the cuntiest of all cunts, bro. <laughs> Her name was Miss Gabriel. Yeah, well, she was no angel, I'll tell you that much. 
She wasn't a Gabriel Angel, dude. Um, uh, she just, she looked like a witch, bro. Like, she was so ugly and, like, agified. And, um... Oh, shit, son, here we go. Okay, so this is, like, what do you call, um... Oh, God, I'm gonna fuck this up. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Maybe I don't have to press anything. Okay, good. What's it called when you have to, like, press a button really quick? I forget, but... My stupid arrow is in here. I don't know why my arrow is showing. That's what she said. But, yeah, dude. <coughs> Oh, I hated my music teacher so bad. Um, oh no, dude. This too. What is this madness, guys? <laughs> All that work just to fucking have to get that stupid scream. Wow, guys. Well, it looks like we're on to another game now. I forgot this was two discs, dude. Oh my lord. Well, let's see. Let's just play something fun, guys. I don't know. Something easy. Maybe not a horror game. Um, oh, that's a bright screen. Let's see what we got, y'all. Try to make this playthrough at least like 30 minutes. You know what, though? There was a game. Actually, there was a game that... Uh, you guys might enjoy. Even though it's not an easy game, I said I was going to play this for you guys. So you know what? I'm going to start right now. This is Alone in the Dark 2. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Boom. This game is true. You know what, actually? I think I want to play the new one. That second one is a real bitch to play, bro. I don't know if I'm in the mood for that. So, let's just start with this one. And we'll... <laughs> we'll see about the second one. Uh, it came out for the Sega Saturn, so it was really kind of janky in terms of controls. And there were some bosses I remember that were like nearly impossible to kill unless you were standing in just the right place. And I would prefer not dealing with that right now. So, anyways, y'all, let's see what time we're at. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza. Uh, but yeah. <coughs> Elementary school was so stupid though, like, just the entire premise of it, like, forcing young kids to learn about stupid shit that they shouldn't even care about, like, history and, you know, fucking, um, I don't think there was science class in elementary school, I think that was middle school, but like, I don't know, dude, just goofy shit, um, it was just such a waste of my time. I could have been playing outside, having fun, enjoying nature. But I was stuck under the fluorescent lights of my prison system, otherwise known as school. <laughs> yes, we're getting deep here, guys. We're getting balls deep. And uh, <laughs> the gerogenesis, um, I don't know, philosophies of life. It was just, I mean, don't you guys think it was stupid, like, to be that young? And to have to sit in a building for seven hours a day, it was just so retarded, bro. It was so goddamn stupid. And that's the reason why a lot of kids are force-fed pills. It's because young boys were not naturally, biologically made to just sit in a stupid office for that long every day. It's torture. It was fucking torture, bro. And so then they put me on pills, which fucked me up. You know, I used, I used to get ticks. I looked like a crackhead tweaker. 
You know what I'm saying? Picking on my ear. I remember I used to do that a lot. It was weird. <laughs> and all that kinds of shit. It was just so fucking stupid. Like, the way they tried to condition young boys into cucks, you know, so they can be good little servants to the system when they grow up. It's disgusting. Uh, fuck the school systems, dude. Fuck all that shit. Looks like we're ready to go, though, guys. Uh, let's see. Having some freezing issues. Here we go. All right. Lone in the Dark 4. It's funny, too, because uh, Brutal Moose actually played this last Halloween as well as D. So, suck this D. That guy's adorable, though. I, I can't really hate him. He's just, just a really, like... <laughs> Wiener fucking kid. <laughs> He's just so wienery. I don't know how to explain it. He's a giant wiener, bro. Um, Alright. I think we're good to go. Here we go, guys. Yeet. Oh, can't forget about full screen. Perfect. New game. Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001. All right. Story time. Enjoy, guys. Ah, this is nice. I was kind of dreading D. <laughs> That's what she said. There's some parts in that game that are pretty insufferable. Um, as you guys saw with the slot machine, so I'm actually glad we're playing this. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's kick some ass. The Somewhere new the nightmare. States, October thirty first, two thousand and one. Eighteen hundred hours, forty three minutes. Ooh, Halloween. So <laughs> they'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carmi's a loose cannon. No choice. Then the professor. <laughs> Professor Aline Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her. We had no trouble <coughs> with her. I must have those tablets. Hey guys, I'm sorry about that. Is that clear, Johnson? <clears throat> that Satsuma orange dude is killing me right now. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and I only eat half of it, too. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline. When we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Afghanistan stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow. This kinda has like a um... Tomb Raider vibe going on here. She's even wearing like the Laura Croft jacket. I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. Alrighty. 
Of course the plane's gonna crash. Or maybe not. Yep. <laughs> Saw that coming. Oh shit, bro. You know what I was just thinking of the other day, dude? Um, <laughs> this is super off topic, but... You guys remember that cartoon tailspin? It was so stupid. I mean, it was cool, but like... It had nothing to do with the Jungle Book, like, at all. I don't know what they were smoking, dude. It was just... I thought it was very, like, fucking bizarre. But then again, like, if you follow the movie, uh, you know, the kid Mowgli, he actually left. Which is kind of, I don't know, I thought that was kind of sad how he just left his friend Baloo to go search for pussy. You know, basically, that's what he was doing. Um, but anyways, alright, who do we want to be here? Carnby? Little cuckface Carnby? Actually, that's not a cuckface, that's, that's a pretty chiseled alpha face right there. Um... Or Aline Cedric. Aileen. Eileen. I guess Aileen. There you go. 27 years old. Who? Father unknown. <laughs> Just like my SJW haters. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Anyways, uh, let's be this hot chick. Awesome. In the dark. You can check out that booty. Let's go. Nice fucking jeans, bitch. Alright. <laughs> well, we went from really good graphics to really bad ones. But I've seen worse from the PS1. <coughs> mm, pardon me, guys. Alright, here we go. Oh You're yeah, really be fine. that's a nice Come butt. Get me out of here. I landed on some kind of old manor. Everything's dark. I'm really scared. Listen, turn your flashlight on so I can spot you. Okay, we're fine. I can see you. Let's get the fuck out of here, bitch. What do I do now? Well, you've got to get inside the manor. There has to be a, a window or something. Mm. Find a safe place to hide and wait for me. But... I'll be there soon. Alright, guys. Here we go. So... God, I love these graphics, dude. These art, you know what I'm saying? These hand-drawn backgrounds. So beautiful. Oh, is that a gravity bomb? <laughs> I don't even know what a gravity bomb is. I just wanted to sound smart. Like a smart stoner. Holy shit, look at all these candles, bro. Oh, shit. Who are you? I do not recognize the sound of your steps. Please help me. I've had an accident. You should never have come here, young lady. This is not a place for you uh -oh. or anyone else. Why? What's going on here? My son, Obed, is in danger, young lady. Obed? You mean Professor Obed Morton? The creatures of darkness. You must help him. You this is honestly really cool. <laughs> Like, this is such a good entrance. Walking into this lady's bedroom and their conversation, it's so good. It's so captivating. Light dispels the shadows, but 
light also reveals the shadows. Oh, it will explain this better than I can. Where is he? How would I know? I haven't seen him for three days now. The last time he came, he entrusted me with this key. A statue in the smoking room. Take it. Listen. All right. Got a key. I don't hear anything. That was so good. Sorry, guys. I was so silent. I was just really enjoying that. Um, oh, man. Oh, nice. I remember that. Oh, shit. That's right, bitch. Eat my light. The light of the fucking lore compels you. Oh, shit. not killing it, it's just... Uh, let's see. I better save it. Because I know I'm going to fuck shit up. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Let's just keep moving forward. Okay, cool. Alrighty, so. Yeah, I remember. Ooh, I remember this game pretty well. It was, um. Eh, you know, it kind of fizzled out, I think, like, during maybe mid gameplay, but. This was a pretty solid play, I think. Honestly, kind of forgot a lot of it, but I mean, this is really cool, though. Like being in the fucking dark. I mean, this is survival horror, dude. All I have is a flashlight. This is like the definition of survival horror. Shit, I have a feeling this thing's gonna attack me still. That music too is really good. Ah shit, I turned it off. Fuck. Okay, door's locked. I got the key. You just need to fuck off, little thing. Uh let's see, weapons. Okay, well... Shit. That's gonna attack me. <laughs> what? Ah, fuck you, asshole. Okay. I don't know. Ah, you ass! He just freaking chameleon licked me. I don't know what to use on this little thing. Ah, oh, you douche. Run! <laughs> just run, dude. Holy fuck, guys. This is honestly giving me kind of a headache. Um... Yeah, I think we're just gonna... Whew, I think we're gonna hang it up for now, but you know what? I'm happy, bro. 30 minutes. Hell yeah, guys. So, <laughs> it's been a while since I made a 30-minute video, bro. Feeling pretty good about that. And uh, plus I got that, you know, 14-minute video, so 
we're gonna be racking in the views <laughs> you know what I'm saying the watch hours and uh, before I know it I'm sure I'll have 500 subs too so can't wait to nuke some bitch ass troll channels dude it's gonna be great guys but um anyways guys thanks for watching and until next time Stay dank, everyone, and st also stay tuned for another Alone in the Dark for the new Nightmare. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.